here is the genetic code all broken for you. So this is one of many ways to represent a table of code words, but let's look at some of the highlights here. First of all, there are three code words that turn out to be stop codons. These are three base codons that would be found near the end of a messenger RNA and would be an indicator for the ribosome to disassociate and fall off because the polypeptide it was making was finished. The stop codons are UAA, UGA, and UAG. I'll show you how you read this particular genetic code dictionary. Watch the order of nucleotides or bases lighting up here in the next click. First there's an A, then there's a U, and then to the right near the top there's a G. That A, U, G, right? First uh, base is A, second is U, third is G. A, U, G is the code word for methionine. And as you will learn shortly or perhaps remember, methionine is the first amino acid put into all polypeptides on this planet anyway. So it is the start codon. I think I threw in another one here as an example. UG, G codes for tryptophan. So if you needed a little more coaching on how to use this genetic code dictionary, you can look at that. Uh, UG, G codes for tryptophan. Nothing special about tryptophan. Just wanted to show you how you would read the genetic code dictionary for a second amino acid. You can now do that yourself for a few different amino acids. So for example, you can look at cysteine, and you will see that cysteine tRNAs are expected to have an anticodon for cysteine in the so-called anticodon loop, and histidine and glycine are shown as examples. You can look at the codon and see that the anticodon is the complement of the codon.